This video is going to help you with finding the area and perimeter of right triangles. So on this picture you can see we have a right triangle right here is where the 90 degree angle would be. The formula for perimeter is nice and easy. Anytime we're doing perimeter, all I have to do is add all the sides. So I can see I have a 10, an 8, and a 6. So 10 plus 8 plus 6, 14, carry my 1, 24 inches. And my unit's just going to be whatever we have here, because it's going all the way around. Area is a little bit trickier. Area equals 1 half times the base times the height. So here's my numbers that I need to use. The base is the bottom. That's what it's sitting on. The height is how tall it is. So I need 1 half times 8 times 6. I usually like to just take one of these, if they're even, either the base or the height, and take it times a half right away. So I got 1 half times 8. Well, 1 half of 8 equals 4. Then take 4 times the 6. 24 square inches. Trying out the next one. Remember perimeters, just I add up all the sides. So I got a 13, a 12, and a 5. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Carry my 1. 30 inches all the way around. Area, half of base times height. Here's the two numbers I'm going to be using. I want to take half of the 12 is a 6. 6 times 5 equals 30 square inches. Some people would go, hey, those are the same thing. They're not really because the perimeter is 30 inches because it's going around. The area is 30 square inches. So if I was drawing each one square inch in, I would end up with 30 of those squares. Got another one. You stop the video and try it out. Perimeter 11, 8, and 7. Add them up. 15, 16. Carry my 1. 26 inches. Half of the base times the height. Here's the two numbers I'm using. Notice my triangle kind of flipped around. I want to do half of the 8 is 4. 4 times 7 gets me 28 square inches. You try it out. Perimeter, I got 24, 20, and 14. Add them up. 58 inches. Half base times height. I'm using the 14 and the 20. I'm going to take half of 20 because that's going to get me to 10. And I got 10 times 14 multiplied by 10. Just put a zero at the end. 140 square inches. Perimeter. Again, I'm just adding all the sides. 39 inches. Half base times height for my area. This time, since right here is my 90 degree angle, there's my base, there's my height. I never want to use the side, this is called the hypotenuse, the longest side. I never use it for my base or my height. So I got half a 10 is 5, and 5 times 12 gets me to 60 square inches. Okay, this time the problem's a little bit different. Notice I gave you the perimeter, but I'm missing the side right here. So to get the perimeter, I should be doing 14 plus 9 plus the missing side equals 33. So I'm going to add up the 14 plus 9. That's 23. So 23 plus something equals 33. So I really need to do 33 minus 23. And I get 10. So this side right here is 10 inches. Now that I have that side, I should be able to do the area, which is half base times height. Half of 10 is 5. Take it times the other side, which is 9. 45 square inches. Reminder what I did. 
take the perimeter, take off the sides that you know, you're end up with the other side. So here you go. You guys have the same kind of problem. Stop the video and try it out. I'm looking for the missing side. 15 plus 10 plus the missing side equals 34. Add the 15 and 10 together. I got 25. 34 minus 25 gets me a 9. So this side is 9 inches. Half base times height. This time I'm going to take the half of 10 is 5. 5 times 9, 45 square inches. One more. You stop the video and try it. 25 plus 20 plus the missing side equals 61. 25 plus 20 gets me to 45. 61 minus 45. I'm at 16. Half base times height. Half of 20 seems to be the easiest thing to do. That would be 10. 10 times 16 equals 160 square inches. Before you automatically jump in there and start doing perimeter, notice that I gave you the opposite this time. I gave you the area. Okay, this may be a little bit tougher to think about. Half base times the height equals 15. Okay. What number do I know right now? I know my height. So half the base times 6 equals 15. Well, I can do half of 6. That's 3. So the base times 3 equals 15. Oh, so the base must be 15 divided by 3, which is 5. So now I could find the perimeter. All I have to do is add all the sides. 9 plus 6 plus 5, 15, 20 inches. You try out the next one. Half base times height equals 35 square inches this time. My height is 10, so I got half of base times 10. Half of 10 is 5. So 5 times the base equals 35. So the base must equal 7. Let's go to my perimeter. Add up all the sides. A 14, a 10, and a 7. 31 inches. Last one. You stop the video and try it out. Half the base times the height equals 77 square inches. My height is 14, so half the base times 14. Half of 14 is 7. So I got 7 times the base equals 77. So this side must be 11. Add up all my sides to get to the perimeter. A 19, a 14, and an 11. There's 10 plus 4 is 14. Carry my 1. 1, 2, 3, 4. 44 inches. And that's how I find the area and perimeter of a right triangle.